for more information related to the civil engineering concepts and civil engineering updates please visit my website civilbasics123.com go to type civilbasics123.com in google so that my website will be open here like this so which is consisting of all detailed concepts related to the civil engineering topics so please follow my website civilbasics123.com in this video lecture i will explain you what are the different types of the foundation that we are using for the construction of the building or construction of any kind of the structure okay so firstly i will explain you what is the mean by this uh, foundation so basically foundation is an important component in the building designing section okay so in order to resist the superstructure superstructure is nothing but the uh, the building structure or uh, otherwise any kind of the structure which is exist on the ground okay so in order to resist that particular structure on the ground we need to construct the foundation section okay so depends upon the different types of the usages like uh, different types of the loading condition system and different types of the uh, requirements the foundations are having different types okay so in my previous videos i was explained what are the different the dimensions of the foundation we need to consider for the uh, different floors of the building okay i will provide you that uh, video link in abo code link you can watch that video from there okay in this video i will cover you what are the different types of the foundation we are using using uh, for the building design constructions as per uh, standards okay so basically as per the standards the foundations are classified into two categories okay in that first one is related to the shallow foundations and second one is related to the deep foundations okay so basically shallow foundations are uh, constructed uh, from the ground surface and deep foundations are constructed from the ground surface but it will be deep for the ground okay so under the shallow foundations again it will be consisting of four types in the uh, deep foundations again it will be consisting of the two types okay so on the shallow foundation we have the first one related to the isolated footing so basically we will construct the isolated footing in uh, building structures which is having more uh, center to center distance between the columns okay so this isolated footings is also called as individual footings okay so in this case we need to design the footing section as per the individual section let us consider i need to construct a building which is consisting of let us consider uh, g plus 1 structural model which is having 12 number of the columns okay so if the center to center distance between the column is having higher than the uh, 10 feet value then we need to consider this particular isolated footing this is also called as individual footing okay so this is the first one under the isolated footing section of shallow okay so this is comes under the shallow foundation so for that particular section of the 12 columns we need to construct the individual foundations okay individual foundations okay let us consider these are the 12 columns for this particular columns we need to construct the individual foundation for the particular sections like this okay that is comes under the isolated footings okay so the second one is related to the uh, combined footings okay so combined footings so basically combined footings will be used in the building constructions or other structure when the center to center distance between the column is less okay this is the second one okay which is comes under the combined footing so basically in combined footing let us consider uh, i was constructed a building which is consisting of approximately let us take here uh, six number of the columns if the center to center distance between the column is less okay minimum center to center distance between the each column we will consider as 8 feet if the eight uh, distance between the two columns is less than 8 feet then we have to provide the combined footing for the particular column sections here like this like this like this like this again in the same process we have to provide the combined footing here like this okay this is comes under the second one combined footing this will be applicable if you having the center to center distance between the column is less okay and the third one is strip footing okay so basically strip footing will be used to provide a continuous support to the uh, linear structure like uh, uh, walls and columns okay so these are the provide the strip footing type under the category of shallow foundations okay so these type of the strip footings will be used for the providing the continuous support for the superstructure or uh, component which is having uh, above the ground related to the columns as well as your respected uh, wall section okay so in order to provide the continuous support for the particular section then we have to provide this strip footing type okay this is the third one which is comes under the shallow foundation section and the next one is related to the raft or mat foundation 
okay this is the fourth one which is comes under the shallow foundation okay so in the mat or rough foundation basically we need to construct the whole slab section below the ground level okay so in order to construct the footing section so let us consider uh, again i am considering the uh, six or four number of the columns for the particular structure just i am taking an example of six columns okay so in order to construct the building structure which is having the uh, mat foundation we need to take the all the foundation which is made for the slab section under the ground like this we need to construct in a sense we need to construct the all the footing section below the ground with the slab reinforcement section okay so this will be comes under your respected matter raft foundation this will be used in case of the load of the structure is having more and if the loading distribution is not possible with the help of the isolated footing or combined footing so basically this isolated footing will be used in common constructions like g plus 1 building or ground floor building and combined footing will be used if the center to center distance between the column is uh, having uh, less amount of the distance and we can use the strict foundation footing for the building structure uh, if you have the support if you want to use the support for the continuous section okay for the respective slab as well as uh so uh, wall wall or column okay so these are the four types which is comes under this respective shallow foundation so again in the same process it will be consisting of the next one is related to the uh, deep foundation okay so under this deep foundation we have two types of the footings are there which is related to the uh, pile foundation and relude foundation okay so basically pile foundation is used uh, when the ground is made to the ground surface and which is are uh, not suitable for the heavy loads okay this respected pile foundation is comes under the deep foundation section so this pile foundation will be used if the construction of the site is near to the ground surface okay so basically this respected pile foundation will be applicable when the uh, site is near to the ground surface and it is not suitable for the heavy loads so in order to construct any kind of the building we need to take the loading condition distribution section okay so if the loading condition is having higher amount of the loading condition and if the site is near to the ground surface then we have to prefer this particular uh, deep foundation under this category of pile foundation section so this is the first one which is comes under the deep foundation and the last one is related to the drilled shaft or kaizen foundation so basically in this case drilled shaft or kaizen foundation basically we will use drilled shaft or kaizen section for the footing construction below the ground deeper section for the deep foundation section okay so in this drilled shaft or kaizen foundation it is having types like box or kaizen or excavated kaizens or uh, floating kaizens or open kaizens like that okay so we will use this particular kaizen section for the drilled shaft or kaizen foundation in the deep foundation section okay so this is the complete concept related to the foundation section so basically foundations are divided into two categories one is related to the shallow foundation and the next one is related to the deep foundation under the shallow foundation we have two uh, four categories one is related to the isolated footing and second one is combined footing third one is strip footing and uh, the fourth one is mat footing under this respected section of the uh, deep foundation again it is having two types related to the pile fine foundation and drilled shaft or kaizen foundation so these are used isolated footing general construction these are used in if the center to center distance between the each column is less these are used if the uh, continuous support is required for the particular foundation these are used for the respected mat section in order to or uh, assess that particular loading distribution and power foundations will be used uh, when the uh, site is near to the ground surface and drilled shaft foundation is used in case of the larger amount of the loading distribution system okay so if you have any queries about this particular video please try to text me your questions in the below comment box i will try to give answer for that respected questions thank you